welcome to GuitarControl.com. It's time to make history. No, I'm joking. Of course, we were just here to learn a Kiss song. Shout it out loud. What a classic. What a classic. And I figured, what better guitar to play than, than a Les Paul, of course, to be rocking out some of that Paul and Ace stuff. So, um, with this one, like I said, there's, uh, they are tuned down half step. I am tuned to standard tuning. So, um, if you want to play along with the song, just simply tune down half step and you are set. And um, there's that twin guitar part in the beginning and the solo. We're going to be covering it all. So we're going to walk you through all these riffs. We're kind of following uh, more of like Paul's parts through a lot of it. And then we're going to do the solo, which of course is Ace. So other than that, let's go ahead and get going. Grab those tabs and we'll be rocking. All right, so let's start with that main little harmony solo that's happening. It goes like this. And we're just going to do one of the harmonies, which is going to be playing 12 on the B. Then you bend it up a full step, back down, bend, then you go bend up and come back down. Then you go. So for the next part, we just go down to a good old B5. I'm going to do it all the way down here. You could do it on the seventh fret, of course, if you wanted to. Um, I'm just going to go second fret on the A and fourth fret on the D. And let it ring out, and then you go to a D5, which is really moving up three frets. So fifth fret on the A, seventh fret on the D. Then you go to an A5, which is just hopping up a string. Fifth fret low E, seventh fret on the A, and you play it twice. That's how that one part goes. Here it goes to this. And that is like your standard kind of shuffle. They add a little bit of a twist to it. So they're going like this. So it's um, open D, second fret on the G, twice. Then you hold down fourth fret on the G with that open D. Then you're gonna do that open D second fret again three times. Then back and forth. So. Then you go to an A5, which is open A, second fret on the D. Then you're gonna hold down fourth fret on the low E string and open A three times. Back two, back. So you have. So we should have. Okay, so you should have that much of it. Then you simply move up another string and go to the low E string. So it's open low E and then second round of D. So we have. And that is. So it's open low E string, second fret on the A twice. And then fourth fret low E. Then two hammer on four on the low E. Two hammer on four on the A. Okay, so we have that much. So it's... And that's that whole verse part. So we have. Does that part again? There's, if you listen to it, there's some slight variation. Now this time you don't go back to the low E, you just go to that B5. Let it ring out. And then we're into kind of what I would call the main riff. Now this is just holding down fourth fret on the D, G, and B. And then fifth fret on the B. And then you're going to go, then you put your middle finger down on 5th fret and your ring finger on 6th fret. So you have this kind of, it's actually an E chord. So we're going to like, basically going from B to E, B to E. Uh, so we have. So you just kind of keep bones that. Shout it, shout it, shout it out loud. There we go. And that's literally just going. which is just simply doing a, um, an A major to B major. So I'm holding down 5th fret on the B, I'm sorry, the high E and the B, and then 6th fret on the G, 7th fret on the D. 
and I slide it up two frets, and I pick it against it. So we have that part then. So the last little section is really just the solo. So um, the solo is this. That's pretty much it. So you're gonna do a unison bend here, uh, starting on 10th fret of the high E string, and 13 on the B. You do it twice. Then you're gonna do kind of these stutter bends on 13 on the B. So. This part, you can hear that his guitar is like doubled. It's just bending 14. Uh, you bend 14, and then you go back to 10, 14, 10. And you're gonna do this little run right here. Now that is simply going second fret, slide down to one on the G, open low, then two slide up to four, and then five on the B. I mean, he could hit open strings for all I know. Then you go back to that unison bend. Now that is just simply going 12 hammer on 14 on the A. 14 hammer on 60 on D. And you have this little repeating lick. That is bending uh, 14 up. Coming back down, releasing it, pulling off 12. 13. So, you go back to 12 and you do it again. Back to 12. There you have it. Thank you for tuning in today. Hope you enjoyed that lesson. What a great song. It's just, it's, it's funny. Kiss songs are just one of those songs that once you learn them, they're like, wow, this is such a fun song to play. It's just, it's a great song if you're in like a, like a playing slump, just to learn something fun. It's got cool little licks and stuff in it, cool riffs. And um, like I said, you just, you have a blast playing it. So make sure you get those tabs. And until next time, keep on rocking, and I'll see you later. Yeah.